and the lines in three, two, one, go. Autonomous period off and running and see if the Blue Alliance is gonna pick up a couple of points early on. All in the control of the robots at this point. And Warhorse did a nice job, places the cube, goes back up onto the charging station, engaged. That's some decent points for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance getting rolling now with 5667. The Digital Eagles making their way down to the loading dock, picking up a cube or two. Nope, just one along the way. Picking up the cube and away they go. Up across the charging station and dropping things in on level number two. Again, the middle row is worth three points during the teleop period. The bottom row is worth two. Top row, five points each time you put a cube or a cone on that top level. Dark Side Robotics had a cube, making a move across. Now they're gonna head back to their loading zone to try to pick up another. Meanwhile, their partner in Rad Robotics able to place cube up onto the second level. That'll add more points for their score. And on the Blue Alliance, it's number 4020, Cyber Tribe, able to push one of those purple cubes in for points on the bottom level. Looks like the Red Alliance having a little conference here in the mid, near the mid of stripe. Blue Alliance doing a nice job with 5413. That's Stellar Robotics and partner Cyber Tribe able to go into the loading zone, pick up a cone, and goes heading back to there and to place it on one, two, no, let's go for three. All the way up to the top and good. A little bit of a jam midfoot court. between the two alliances. We're already under the and into the end game, so that's why the blue alliance putting two up on to the charging station. Red trying, but not quite there. Will they have enough time to get one up and of it? EB, here we come. Here comes the climb, leveled up. They're engaged with one second to spare. Score of 94 to 50, ranking points all three, heading to the Blue Alliance in that match. That was qualification match number 15.